It's been 15 days now since the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. It's so hard to sit there and hold your patient's hand because I'm not used to this amount of death. We are, quite literally, in uncharted territory. How bad is the pandemic going to be? Food shopping is allowed, but the queues are often long, and few here keep their distance. The standstill will likely ruin many businesses in South Africa. But fear of the uncontrolled spread of the virus is even greater, because it could spell the collapse of the country's already stretched health service. Please note, we are nowhere near the projected peak of this illness, and our trend line is heading straight up. And I have to warn you that in the coming few weeks, the daily death toll will inevitably rise into the many hundreds. Now, it's vital when that happens. As a nation, we have to hold our nerve, protect each other, because our individual actions will save lives. COVID-19. COVID-19. Coronavirus. From coronavirus. 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 COVID-19. has a coronavirus. COVID-19. COVID-19. We need to urgently and dramatically escalate our response. Uh, this is not a joke. This is not a joke at all. I've never seen so much fear in either the faces of the patients or the healthcare workers. The next few days are crucial. Without decisive action, the number of people infected will rapidly increase from a few hundred to tens of thousands and within a few weeks to hundreds of thousands. This is extremely dangerous for a population like ours, which has a large number of people with suppressed immunity because of HIV and TB and high levels of poverty and malnutrition. Coronavirus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown for 21 days. This is a decisive measure to save lives of South Africans from infection and save the lives of hundreds of thousands of our people. While this measure will have a considerable impact on people's livelihoods, on the life of our society and on our economy, the human cost of delaying this action would be far, far greater. The nationwide lockdown will be enacted in terms of the Disaster Management Act and will entail the following. From midnight on Thursday, 26th March. I mean, there is nothing, nothing, nothing ever had the sole attention of the entire globe at one time. And Jesus said to the disciples, come aside by yourself to a deserted place and rest a while. I've never ever heard the birds sing so clearly. I have never ever experienced such absolute freedom in my life. God has got our attention. Our God is a good God. He doesn't allow a little child to run across the road so that a drunken driver can knock the child down in order to get the attention of the drunken driver. Not the Jesus I serve. However, he uses the things of the world to his advantage always. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purposes. Well, I've been called to his purposes, so have you. Now, I want to say to the people, keep on praying. This virus is going to end. And when it ends, there is going to be a revival that's going to hit this country like it's never ever been seen before in the history of South Africa. Bible in America are being sold out. Why? Because people realize if God doesn't intervene, we're done. But the good news is God is going to intervene. So what we need to do is we need to prepare ourselves. We need to give the Lord the first fruit of the day. If you get up in the morning, you don't turn on the TV or the radio, you get into your quiet time room. What you put in first thing in the morning, you read the Word of God. You can start in the Psalms, and then you can go to the Gospel of John, and you read a section every day, and write down in a book what it meant to you. Then you start to pray. You pray Acts, A-C-T-S, Adoration, Confession, Thanksgiving, and Supplication. Then you start to read the daily devotional, and you get your spirit man in a good position. 
Then you face the world. When you are focused on the Lord, the things of the world start to become very small. Start looking to the Lord, and then the virus becomes very small. His name is Jesus, and He is the healer, and nothing will happen to any of you without His permission.